So this is what we're making, a couple of hammered square backing and cups with head pins, so no soldering. Just like that. So this is 0.7 of a millimeter, fine silver, and I'm going to mark out 19 millimeter square. So I'll cut this strip and then I'll cut two 19 millimeter bits off. <coughs> so there'll be two 19 millimeter squares and two 10 millimeter squares out of the same material. And I'm just going to use my shears to cut it. This doesn't have to be super accurate. So we'll just cut off one. And then it's easy enough to mark the next one. So two of those and two ten, ten millimeter. Yeah, I didn't think those looked nineteen. So that's 10 millimeter. And the 10 millimeter is going to be my pearl cup. So my bigger ones that were supposed to be 19 are actually 15, but that's all right. So now we're going to anneal these and use an embossing hammer, which is just round, polished, uh, in this case fairly small. You can use your chasing hammer, if it has a nice polished round ball on it. Some of them are slightly flat, so if it is, just take your sandpaper and make it slightly round or make it round and then polish it on Tripoli. So I'm just going to bring these up to a dull red using my easy torch. And we'll quench it in water and dry it off. So I'm just going to hammer these on my bench block, uh, mostly because I can sit down. If you have an anvil, do it on an anvil. So we'll just do one at a time. And 
I'm using 0.7 thickness because I want a good deep impression. Like that. Do all four pieces. I'm going to dish my little ones because I'm going to use them as a pearl cut and I'm going to just use a nylon dapping punch and I'm going to do it in a hole that's bigger than my punch. So pattern up and that's it. We don't need a really deep cup on this one. So do them both. And that's it. So now I'm going to drill a hole in the middle and I'm just doing the middle by eyeball. So that's just a, a mark with my center punch to make sure that the drill stays in the right spot. So I'm going to use a one millimeter drill bit for this. A little bit of wax. And <clears throat> I'm going to drill these because I'm just going to put my pearl peg all the way through. I'm going to use a head pin. I'm actually going to make a head pin. So what I'm going to do is just draw a line diagonally from corner to corner two ways so that I can get the center of this and then we'll drill it from the back and keep your marks fairly light because We'll want to uh, polish those marks out. And the fact that it's on the back means that uh, we can probably just leave it alone. And we need to hallmark this on the back also. You could solder your pearl peg on, but I can't be bothered. So I'm just going to mark that for my drill bit. And we 
we'll just drill it from the back. And then I'm going to mark one corner down two millimeters so I can put the hole for my ear wire in. Lovely. holes. So now all I need are two head pins and I'll make those out of 0.8 of a millimeter square wire. So I'll just cut these with my side cutters about 20 millimeters long. Just be rough if it doesn't doesn't really matter. So I'll just hold these vertically in my third hands and if you don't have a double third hand there's no drama you just do one at a time. And use your neutral flame for this. And don't be shy. Come right up to it. I'm about 20 millimeters away. And all we need to do is try to get an equal ball on the two. So we'll just quench in water and pickle because these are sterling and they'll oxidize. You could leave them black if you want, but I think they look better silver. Now I have two half-drilled pearls that I'm going to drill out using my one millimeter drill bit. And that's just to make sure that our 0.8 pearl peg that's twisted will fit in the hole. And I just hold these in my fingers. Don't spin the drill too fast or you'll burn up the drill. So these are my square head pins that I've made and I'm just going to grab the two ends with my parallel jaw pliers and give them a full twist. And that twist is just to hold the glue for the pearl. So now I'm going to make 
my ear wire. So 50 millimeter long piece of 0.8 of a millimeter round sterling. Now this is hardened because I started with one millimeter round wire and I pulled it down to 0.8. So check that your two pieces are the same length. Use your Swiss number two cut flat hand file. Just hold the piece in your fingers and file the end flat. Then take your 400 grade paper on your sanding stick. Tidy up all four ends. And we do we do all four just because if you make the mistake and turn it around and one end sharp, then you'll cut either your ear or your customer's ear. So now I'm just going to take my flat round pliers, which are marked. And we make a loop. Center it. Put that down 45 degrees. Come up to the large round part of the pliers. Put a little kick in it, and that's our French ear wire. And do it again. And by having the mark on your pliers, you're able to recreate the earring and have it really close to the original one. Like that. So now what I'm going to do is wire all of my pieces together and polish them. And once they're polished, we'll assemble it. So at this point, I'm going to put my ear wires on the big piece. Close the loop so it touches, and that way this won't come off. So now I can just put all of these bits, with the exception of the head pins, onto a piece of copper wire. And we polish them all in one go. I'll just turn that so you can see I've got my tumbler here. And with everything all assembled on the wire, it's quite easy. You just chuck it in. Turn it on, and I'm going to polish for about half an hour. So the tumbler is off, and it's just a matter of fishing our bits out. and rinsing them off.
and you can see how easy that was to just snag the wire. So it's all rinsed. Now we'll just dry these off and then we can finish assembling the earrings. We'll just take our bits off the copper wire. And <clears throat> everything's nice and shiny. I'll just take one of the head pins, stick it through the back, put the cup on, So that's what it looks like so far. And we hold the head pin in from the back and then just cut it with the side cutters about two millimeters long. Like that. And you can see that with the head pin on the back, it's just a small bump. So it saves you soldering. So we'll assemble the next one. Cut it to the length. Always hold your thumb over the end bit so it doesn't fly across the room. Cool. And we'll check the pearls for fit and then glue them. So I'm just going to hold the piece that I cut off in the parallel jaw pliers and check the pearl for fit. It fits quite nicely. So we'll mix up our glue. This is five minute two part epoxy. And we just need enough to go in the pearl. An equal amount of the two parts. So we'll just mix it well. I hold the pearl in my fingers put a spot of glue on the hole push it down in another little spot on the hole so now it's completely full And I hold the earring. Push the pearl on, make sure it goes on all the way, and then 
Turn your cup where you want it. So I'm quite happy with that. And we just sit it on the bench plate so that the pressure of the pearl is pushing down quite nicely. And then we'll do the next one. Hold the pearl, put the glue in. Push it in. With a little spot on the outside and leave the toothpick in the glue. So we put the pearl on. Turn our cup where we want it. Sit it on the bench. Make sure it's all pushed together. And leave it alone for five minutes. And we'll come back and check our glue in the uh, on the mixing piece. All right, the glue's dry, which means we're finished. So there you are, a pair of pearl earrings with hammered backing and cup square, and that's our head pin. Ta-da!